What's up guys, Coach Adrian here from Wolf Sports Performance. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the best exercises that you could do to make yourself a stronger, injury-free run. First exercise is called the High Plank Psoas March. So you want to place your feet inside the mini band and get into a push-up position with your feet wide. That's going to keep the band on and keep it from falling to the floor. As you keep your feet wide and maintain tension on the side of your hips, you want to slowly bring one knee at a time up to your chest while maintaining a good back position. If you want to regress this and make it a little bit easier, go ahead and take that mini band off of your feet and do the same thing without the mini band. Now if you want to make this exercise really challenging, you want to put your body through a big monster band, get into the same position and do the exercise. The band is going to want to rotate you to the side, so you have to resist that by maintaining a stable core. The next exercise is a mini band fire hydrant. You want to get into a figure four stance with your arms at your side like you're running, and then slowly bring one leg out to the side while maintaining good posture. can regress this exercise and make it easier by just getting into position and doing a static hold. Make sure you really drive your big toe and your heel down into the ground with your stance leg. Now if you want to make this exercise even more challenging, you're going to take that monster band again, place it around your hips, get into position, and then complete your reps. Once again, that band is going to want to pull you to the side, so you have to make sure you're maintaining good core tension. The last exercise is a banded single leg Romanian deadlift. So you want to get into a single leg stance with the band just above your knees and the kettlebell at your hips. You want to hinge your hips backwards as far as you can, let your knee bend slightly, and keep your back as straight as possible while you hinge over. You don't need to have the kettlebell touch the ground. You could just come to the middle of the shin. Position is more important than depth. To make the exercise easier, you could simply take the mini band off of your legs and proceed with the exercise. You can also go a little bit slower, focusing a little bit more on control, and you can also use a slightly lighter weight. Finally, you can make this exercise harder by putting the band back on and doing a crossbody single leg, single arm deadlift. The main difference is you're coming across your body as you're hinging over. So you have to make sure that you're really engaging your core and obliques to make sure you don't fall over to the side as you bring that kettlebell across your body. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content just like this. You can also find me at Facebook and Instagram at Wolf Sports Performance. I'll see you guys next time.